Neurolucet 360 is the leading software used by neuroscientists to quickly and accurately reconstruct intricate neuronal structures that range in scale from complex branching multicellular networks of neurons to subcellular components, including dendritic spines, varicosities, and punitive synapses. In this demonstration, we will be walking through the software interface and main functions, including the soma detection, branching dendrites and axons, and viewing the results. By the end of the demonstration, you will be able to go from having a lone image stack to a fully three-dimensional reconstructed neuron. Once Neurolucid 360 is opened, you will see a 2D and 3D environment. In this demo, we will be working in the 3D environment. Once your image has been opened, which is blazingly fast thanks to our high-performance 3D scientific imaging engine, it is time to start reconstructing. We'll start with detecting the soma. After clicking on the soma panel, you will see a button that says Detect All Somas. By clicking this, Neurolucid 360 will automatically reconstruct all somas in your image within seconds. In Neurolucid 360, there are three different ways to reconstruct trees, fully automatic, user-guided, and smart manual. For the first two tracing options, we'll go over the different algorithms and methods of how the software reconstructs the dendrites and the reasons to use each of the methods. The first algorithm is directional kernels, this is nice for thinner, finely stained neuronal processes like delicate axons or if there is punctate staining. Directional kernels works by first finding the edges and then the center of the branch. The next two methods are ray burst crawl and voxel scooping. These methods work well with branches that have a diameter wider than a few voxels or when there are areas of high density of processes. Unlike directional kernels, these two methods reconstruct from the inside out first by finding the branch center and then detecting the branch's edges. Neurolucid 360 allows users to completely reconstruct all structures within their images automatically. This capability can be shown reconstructing a neuron with complex branches. Without even changing the default settings, just a click will reconstruct your image near perfectly almost instantaneously. After running an automatic tracing, you can make it even better if upon close inspection there are missed branches or aspects a human can observe. These can either be edited within the editing mode, or for a more accurate reconstruction, you can adjust the settings to customize them to your images. To customize the settings, the first thing we'll do is show the settings and then click display seeds. The seeds will help lead the algorithm on the path that it should take to reconstruct the branches. Here we will change the sensitivity of the seeds. As you notice here, we have two large seeds that don't fit the diameter but the goal in adjusting the sensitivity is to look for the quantity over the quality of seeds. You can then validate and even add or remove seeds as you see fit. When adding seeds, you just click and the software will add the seed, matching it to the correct girth of the branch. Likewise, to take away the seeds, you also just click to remove. Once we click trace again, you can see that we cut down the segmentation massively. If you do find that there is still segmentation, you can adjust this within the edit feature. There are a couple ways to connect these segments together. The first is to click Edit, go into Connect Mode, and then drag the two points together. The next is by using either Smart Manual or User Guided Tracing. By using either, we click on the segmented branch and follow down the branch and then click to connect. User Guided Tracing offers the speed of automatic detection coupled with the controls of Smart Manual. Click to set the origin point. While your mouse is over the neuron, there will be a series of what looks like chain links following you as you move the branch. Here, Neurolucid 360 software automatically computes the diameter of the branch and, with a left click, creates a full three-dimensional reconstructed model of the branch. Once you get to the end of the branch, just right-click to end the reconstruction of the process. Once you come to a bifurcation, hover over the split and you will see a different color sphere on the branch. You can click there and start tracing the branch. Another way to trace is to start at the ending of the split branch and trace down towards the original trace branch. The new branch will be a new color indicating it is a different segment, but once you get to the green sphere, click and the branches will connect, turning the same color. User guided tracing is very accurate and efficient. It allows you to inspect and confirm the accuracy of the reconstruction while you trace. Smart Manual is good for the most complex and noisy images. In Smart Manual, begin by clicking to set the start point. You will notice that your cursor size may not be to the correct diameter that your branch is. You can adjust this by holding down the control key and using your mouse wheel. Click and trace, adjusting the diameter sizes as you move along the branch. Editing already reconstructed branches is easy. Once you are in edit mode, click points, you will be able to see the individual points on the tracing. 
You can change the diameter, location, remove points, and connect points if you see any segmentation. When you are editing and see a red point, that point will indicate that a bifurcation is present. These can be adjusted as well. Neuralusa 360 allows users to associate reconstructions of branches, puncta, spines, and varicosities with specific color channels. To do this is simple. Before you start reconstructing the part of your image, select a color from the channel panel on the far left of the 3D environment. Once this is selected, start reconstructing. The new reconstruction will now be associated with that specific color channel. Detecting puncta is a powerful feature because it can associate the punctae with branches and spines. Start by selecting the appropriate color channel for the puncta. You can detect puncta automatically using machine learning, automatically with conventional image analysis, or manually. To automatically detect puncta using machine learning, just set the detection method to machine learning. Machine learning uses specific models of the object's size and appearance that accept or reject locations in the image that meet seed detection parameters. Only objects that meet the specific requirements of the specialized machine learning model are considered for detection, leading to more accurate selection of puncta. To detect automatically without using machine learning, choose automatic as the detection method. Next, click the preview seeds button to preview puncta modeling using the current settings. If you are not satisfied with the results, clear the seeds and adjust the puncta detection to fit the modeling to how you desire. Click Detect All and Neuralusa 360 will detect all the puncta. And finally, to manually detect puncta, just click on the puncta in the image and Neuralusa 360 will reconstruct the puncta. The image will also recenter to have the newly detected puncta in the center of the image. Neuralusa 360 allows users to detect puncta based on proximity to reconstructed objects as well. Once your tree is fully reconstructed, select the color channel with puncta. After that, click Detect Based on Proximity and go to Settings. Neuralusa 360 can not only detect proximity to trees, but to somas, spines, varicosities, and even other previously detected puncta and other channels. Once you are set, click Detect All. Neuralusa 360 now reconstructs all the puncta surrounding the reconstructed tree. With our state-of-the-art spine detection software, detecting dendritic spines is made as easy as possible. Neuralucia 360 offers users two ways to detect spines, automatically or manually. To automatically detect spines in an image, click the Detect All button and Neuralucia 360 will automatically find all the spines on the branches you have already traced. If you are not satisfied with these settings, you can adjust the settings on the right-hand side of the 3D environment in order to get the most accurate reconstruction possible. For a little more control, you can manually detect spines. First, find a spine that you want to reconstruct. With just a click, Neuralusa 360 reconstructs the entire spine within seconds. Neuralusa 360 provides researchers with some great methods to visualize and automatically classify each dendritic spine into a specific category, making analysis easier and more in-depth. Researchers can classify spines into four groups, stubby, mushroom, thin, or philopodium. Each class of spine is represented by a specific color for easier visual representation. You can even customize the classifications to your specific needs. There are two ways to detect varicosities in Neuralusa 360. The first being automatically. Start by clicking the varicosity button in the top right of the 3D environment. Next, click Detect All. This will detect all the varicosities in the image at default settings. Following this, inspect the results of the detection and adjust the detection settings accordingly before detecting again. In Neuralusa 360, you can change the minimum thickness ratio, maximum length ratio, and image sensitivity to fit the settings that you desire. For a little more control, detect varicosities manually. All you need to do is zoom in, rotate, or pan the image to get a clear view of the varicosity you want to detect. Next, adjust your settings as you see fit, then click on the varicosity. Within seconds, Neuralusa 360 will reconstruct the varicosity you have selected. After accurately reconstructing your neuron, it is time to quantitatively analyze and view your data. We can do this by clicking on the Neuralucid Explorer icon. This will prompt you to save your data if you haven't already. After that is saved, Neuralucid Explorer will open automatically. To have the software run more efficiently, Neuralucid Explorer only brought over what you reconstructed and not the image data. 
Once we are loaded in, we can perform hundreds of sophisticated analyses like shoal analysis, batch analysis, wedge analyses, dendigrams, and so much more that help scientists answer their research questions. Whether you are reconstructing one neuron or many, hundreds of peer-reviewed citations show that Neurolusa 360 is the neuroscientist's top choice in automatic neuron reconstruction and analysis software.